What up, y'all? My name is Dope Knife. Well, my real name is Kendrick Mack. I uh, am the son of a diplomat, and I grew up and went to school overseas. Afterwards, I moved to Savannah, Georgia, where I attended the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I became a rapper after that, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Let's try that a different way, though. I'm a MC, known as Dope Knife when I pen a rap. But when I was born, yo, my mama named me Kendrick Mack. Went to school overseas, my father was a diplomat. Moved to Savannah, Georgia, that's when the brother went to SCAD. I just gave you my little brief bio, but I gave it to you in two forms, a spoken formal way and then a rapped way. Um, you know, I'm willing to bet that the rapped version of my bio probably is gonna stick with you at least in some form or another, more so than me just standing there and reading to you some facts about my life. Um, this is all stemming from, you know, what I like to think of as being the power of the rapped word and the sort of poignancy that a rapped word can have in terms of making people retain information or just having things stick with people and, and having them have more impact and more meaning with people. I want to stress rap because hip hop is a broader thing. Hip hop is a culture, it's a lifestyle, it's a way of life. And rap is just one of the elements within the broader culture of hip hop. So I'm talking about rap specifically right now. A rapper can mention a name brand and that can raise a company's bottom line. A rapper can even speak of whole new business into existence or give an obscure reference to a movie that causes somebody to go and look that movie up <laughs> and find out where that reference is from. A rapper can get kids into comic books, like it did for me. Rap, you, there's, there's, rap just has the power to pique people's interest and the power to stick with people in ways that I don't think fully have been explored outside of just the realm of entertainment. In fact, it was through rap that I was able to learn English as a kid. Um, I grew up primarily, as far as my childhood, I was in Africa, West Africa, to be exact. And for at least the first four or five years of my life, I spoke West African Creole. And one of the uh, first things that, that started on my regiment to learn English was I would listen to the Dougie Fresh 1989 song that he did for the Ghostbusters movie, Spirit. It went something like, spirit, some people hear it, some people fear it, spirit, some people just won't go near it. Shows on me and the skies are blue, the ghost bus is all back and all brand new. There's a combination of the repetition of the words, um, associating meaning with those words, it being in a rhythm that stuck in my head so that I would keep repeating them over and over again, even when I wasn't necessarily consciously doing so. Obviously, rap wasn't the, the only key in, in this scenario. You know, there was school, there was tutoring, but I can't downplay the impact that hip hop had and it actually being presented to me in that way by my older brother is, hey, listen to this. Here's, here's some EPMD, check this out. Here's the Fat Boys, check this out. You know what I mean? Here's some Run DMC, listen to this. Listening to those songs over and over again, it just helped me retain the language, retain the language better and get a better grasp on how to speak it and how to play with it. Think about it the way that you would think about how a pop song will have lyrics that get stuck in your head over time and you, you can repeat them <laughs> at a moment's notice, you know damn near every word. Um, it's this same sort of thing that's going on. In, in fact, a uh, 2013 study found that kids retain science information better when they rap, dance, or drew it. This is because obviously when information is presented to you in a more engaging way, you retain it better. It sticks with you. You remember things more. There's an example in Uganda with an artist slash politician named Bobby Wine who raps at his political rallies and through using, you know, his rhetoric in that sense, he's able to activate millions of young people in Uganda to being politically active. So why not embrace this concept and apply rapping to things other than just entertainment? 
And instead of uh, strictly having rap be in the field of instructing people to throw their hands in the air and wave them like they just don't care, or to go and buy the latest shoe that's come out, what if it was embraced more in public organizing and political speech? I know it's extremely easy for me to just say, hey, take the curriculum and wrap it. Cause you know, it's obviously not that easy. And I'm just a rap dude. I'm not an educator. I can only imagine with the amount of things that educators across the country already have on their plate being a why don't you take your lesson plan and make some dope bars out of it isn't necessarily the priority that that they're having now how do you find that right balance of making it cool and engaging and not off-putting to young people and kids i don't necessarily know that i'm equipped to give a how-to on how to do that but i do know that most of us learn our abcs by the way of a song I think it can it can be done. In fact, if you go on YouTube and you do a search for educational rap or rap history or rap math, any subject, you can find some pretty well-made, well-produced, engaging uh, educational rap content where people just utilize the medium, the form of communication of rap, rhythmically speaking, over beats in rhyme. I think people find that it, it can... Uh, open up a whole new dimension to how children and young people uh, pick up the information that we want them to have. I just want to see this get used in classrooms more. And, you know, I want to see more uh, politicians and activists embrace this technique of communication in their day-to-day -day activities more. Um, so in closing, if you don't remember anything I said, Yo, with this talk, you didn't know what you was facing. I'm talking about how rap's a good way of communicating. You do it right, you got the power to go move the nation. It stick inside their head and have their brains all contemplating. I'm saying, take history, apply it to that. You can even find the format when it's science to math. So the youth won't grow up lost and be denying the facts. But I'ma bring it to an end. So alright, it's a rap like that. Math. Thank you.